Hey there, this is Darren, founder of Density. Welcome to Density Insights, where we interview real estate experts for their expertise and opinions and help you to learn more about all things real estate. This is one part of the full interview we had with Damien at Asia Bankers Club, a physical asset investment club with an extensive focus in the overseas real estate market in Southeast Asia. In this part, we're going in depth on Cambodia. I've heard a lot of buzz about Cambodia for the past few years, especially how the One Belt, One Road initiatives enhance the economic potential of the country, which could lead to a positive impact on the real estate market. You can find the other interviews from Damien and more about him in the show notes or our blog, www.density.io slash blog. As always, you can find everything we mentioned in this episode in the show notes, including our thoughts, more about the guests, and all the tips and tricks. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button like you mean it to get our regular updates. Now, take a deep breath and buckle up for the show. Hope you enjoy. So, I know a lot of people start looking into Cambodia. It's getting so, so popular. Um, what's the reason behind that and what's going on in Cambodia right now? Uh, Cambodia's been under the radar for, for a while, um, especially for the investors that concentrated on Southeast Asia, like people that invested in Thailand, in Vietnam. Um, and now they look for another country, like where can they go? Philippines, you know, Indonesia. But Cambodia is actually uh, a place that, that you know, very interesting because, you know, a few reasons. Um, you invest in USD, you know, USD is a defective currency. Um, so the FX currency, it's it's there. You just park your USD there. Um, another thing is Cambodia is a it's a growing country. Um, U.S. China trade war has actually affected them a lot. Um, a lot of the shift of production is you know happening in Cambodia, and Cambodia has a very strong tie with China. So the people moving the factory to China, Cambodia, they actually get you know tax benefits. You know they they're located in a special special economic zone. So, you know, tax benefits, another one. Um, I mean, USD is probably the number one reason why people are investing in Cambodia. Yeah, I heard that like the GDP really increased a lot over the years, right? Because of the oil and gas uh, industry. The oil and gas just started like recently, but the, the GDP growth of 7% the past 10 years. I mean, that's like, you know, people talk about Vietnam's GDP growth, which is, you know, fairly high, but uh, Cambodia's GDP growth, people really, you know, really talk about. So, but they've posted seven percent uh, past ten years. Oh, so that's why a lot of companies are moving there. Then, yeah, there's I think about eighty of the Fortune five hundred companies have already invested in Cambodia or started. Really, that's quite a lot. Yeah. And then, how's the tax structure there? Because like I've never heard people talk about that before. So Cambodia, they don't have a capital gain tax yet, but in starting twenty twenty two. They'll have a uh, capital gain tax scheme where you you choose either one. You pay twenty percent of the capital gain, or you pay four percent of the selling price. So you the government lets you choose. Yeah. How how does that even work? Well, I mean, some countries they'll say you have to pay pay the higher, but in Cambodia it's just you know you pay. Really? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. I never heard of that before. That's kind of it's kind of cool. So when it comes to like investing in Cambodia, yeah. since like I've never been there yeah. and everyone was like, oh, you got to check it out or understand more. How is it like in terms of like, what is the, the main city? Uh, who are the main people who actually looking for rent or buying? And then how do you assess the projects there? So Cambodia, when you talk about Cambodia, you talk about Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh is probably the only city that you want to invest in. Um, Phnom Penh is the capital city. Um, there's the a supply very low supply, um, and, but there's high demand. So you have a lot of experts that live in Cambodia. They don't have access to nice apartments, um, nice high rises, nice amenities. Um, you, most of the foreign buyers, I, I would say have to be Chinese. Um, you know, I've seen where, when I was living in Vietnam, you know, I go to a showroom for the developer and you see a bus, a true story, a bus just rolls in. Mm -hmm. They all get out. They see the project, uh, the show building, and then they just start picking units. Um, like buying handbags? Yeah, it's like buying handbags. So we're buying really? shoes. Yeah, you just walk in and start buying apartments. Because I, I heard that like Cambodia is doing, having the same, same effects maybe in coming up. Yeah. And then it, that's how the all Southeast Asian country, you know, become popular for that reason too. Yeah, and but because of COVID, you have, uh, you can't go into Cambodia. So the, 
the real estate sales has been slowed down because you have no Chinese, you know, tourists come going in to buy. So for our exit strategy is buy now. And then once the border opens, we resell to Chinese uh, investors because they're going to want to buy something in Cambodia. So that's the strategy. That's Waiting, wait, get there before the Chinese get there. Yeah, you buy now and then you put a premium and then you sell it later. You can call it the China effect. China effect, yeah. Wow, right. that's really cool. Well, I know that you have a project you want to showcase a little bit. Yeah. And then like there's a model over there. Yeah. Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's go. So Damien, this is the building you're talking about, right? Correct. So this project is called Misong. Um, it's located in Phnom Penh in Diamond Island. Um, so we'll have our uh, property seminar first week of February 6th. Um, if you want to register, you know, you can always contact us to come to our seminar. And then, so what's going on here? It looks really, really pretty. And then uh, it's so, it lo looks like a luxurious building, right? Can you tell me more about the project, what's going on here, and also what's the area around this area? Sure. So Misong is built in Diamond Island. Um, so Diamond Island in 2005, it was just a farmland. Um, so within 10 years, you can see the, the transformation that it's gone through. Um, Misong is actually the most luxurious uh, condominium that you can find in Phnom Penh. Um, it's located very near the Naga Casino, which is about less than five minute walk. So like right here? -ish? Right, right, yeah, right over the bridge. Oh, cool. So I, you can imagine all the, the high roller gamblers coming to Cambodia. I mean, they're going to probably want to buy something luxurious nearby, which is going to be Miso. Wow, okay. Because like, um, so, so is that a mall? Like what's going on at this lower end of the um, building? Yeah, so they'll have a four-story uh, four shopping mall underneath the condominium, which will be um, controlled by the developer. So the tenant mix is there. They're trying to bring in all the luxurious brands, you know, the high-end brands. Um, so if you look at the building, I mean, this is what you're looking at, you know, say if you're compared to Hong Kong, like West Kowloon, you just go downstairs and you have all the luxurious brands uh, in the shopping mall. So this is probably something that you're probably going to look at in Phnom Penh. I see. And you know how like Hong Kong people, they love to talk about the amenities. Of course. Yes. What's, what's, is there any, what's going on in this building that you know, people might want to enjoy? Correct. So you have Tower 1 and Tower 2. Uh, they're separated, but the amenities on the 51st and the 52nd floor, uh, they're shared by both towers. So you have a 270 degree infinity pool live, uh, looking at the Mekong Delta, uh, the Mekong River. And then you have the, the gym, the co-working space, you know, uh, library, you can sit down and read books. Co-working space? Of course. Well, yeah. I thought people would go, uh, you know, COVID, over here. COVID, it's the new, uh, <laughs> the new norm, you know, every, every project must have a co-working space. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. No, that's great. Yeah. Um, and also the, the special is the 72nd floor. Okay. I'm here. So this uh, 72nd and 73rd floor, it's only for the duplex and the four bedroom owners. Um, this one is special. You'll have a, a mini uh, movie theater, a screen golf. Um, you actually have a sky bar on the top. Wow. So that's for only for those units? Only for the duplex and the four bedroom uh, owners. And uh, they said also a for membership only. Yeah, so whoever can afford it. Wow, okay. And you know like how our show focused on education, right? Correct. So, in, so tell me more about this area, like in terms of like, you know, as an investor perspective, yeah. you know, what's the strategy here? You know, it's about the casino, the enjoyment, entertainment, and then what type of people would tend to like, you know, invest or even rent on these areas? So Phnom Penh is um, very, the lack of supply for high-end uh, project like this. Um, and there's a lot of expats that want to live in a nice, nice place. I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. The currently the, the area that the expats are really focused is BKK1, which is about five minute drive from here. Um, it's located nearby all the international schools. Um, if you look at the location, it's, it's very strategically nicely located because of all the schools and everything, but the quality of the building is not there. There are actually a lot of questions I want to ask you. I mean, it'll take maybe another hour. And I'm sure a lot of audience has the same thing too. Uh, what are some ways that people can know more about Cambodia project and even this project? Yeah, I mean, we're going to ha actually have a property seminar uh, on Misong first week of February, February 6th and 7th. Um, you can register to be part of this seminar or we can actually do a one-on-one -on -one private consultation. Uh, either myself or my colleagues can go into details about the project. That'd be great. And uh, I'll see you there because I some, want some wine and coffee from you and then we'll see how it goes. Great. I'll look forward to it. Thanks for watching. You know, majority of you don't stick around this far. So we're flattered and truly appreciate your attention. To return the favor, let us tell you our thought on this episode. 
Since our last video on the Cambodia real estate market with James Hodge of CBRE Cambodia, we haven't had one for quite some time. So this episode certainly helps paint a clearer picture. If there was more time to interview Damien, I'd like to ask him more questions about the area and upcoming developments, such as the Diamond Island, or what you can do within a 30 minutes car ride away, and of course, the casinos. There are other suggestions for you to look into, such as the tenant profiles and other entertainment options. Those aspects can impact the investment substantially. We have a more detailed version of our thoughts in the show notes. Beside that, you can find more about the guests and all the tips and tricks we have mentioned in the show notes too. Well, what do you think? Let us know in the comments section. Fun fact, do you know that more than 85% of you have subscribed to this show yet? Subscribe now to keep getting good stuff from us. Thanks for watching. What do you think of this episode? Please let us know in the comment below and be sure to hit the subscribe button to keep in touch with us for upcoming videos. But before we go, I want to give a big shout out to Patina Design Lab. They're the one who help us in making our brand, art direction, as well as these videos. They are a strategic design consultancy firm to help businesses with a wide range of design services, from industrial design, branding, graphic design, art direction, content creation, and many more. They are a very talented bunch, and I urge you to check out their website for their work. That's all for today, and see you next time. Cheers.